Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this video we will work on equipping and unequipping the weapon for our character. So you can see right now, right at the start, the weapon's just in his hand and go in combat mode and he just kind of picks it up. So we want to make it so that he grabs it off his back. So that's what we're going to work on. Before we do that, uh, Unreal Engine versions have upgraded a bit. So just grab the project folder, right click on the project and then do switch Unreal Engine version and select the latest one. Now we need to add a socket to the back of the characters where we can spawn our rifle. So go to the blueprint, go to the skeleton tab, make sure you have an animation selected and it is paused. So let's say on spine 2 right there you can add socket and we'll call it weapon holster. And then to that socket you can add a preview mesh so you can see what is going on. Now the preview mesh is only for this view, it doesn't actually bring it into the game. So we'll do that later. So you just then grab hold of the socket and move it into place. So I'm going to pause the video and I will have it in place when it is done. So okay, so I'm going to pause the video now. Okay, so this looks just about right. So basically all you have to do is just kind of drag the socket around so it looks reasonably placed. Maybe you may move it a bit closer to the character, maybe a bit of overlap, but it doesn't matter. Uh, looks about right, so and that's that. And then, So now we want to open the main blueprint and we have it uh, parented to the default blueprint, so just open that and you can see create rifle actor at start of place. Okay, so what we have we had been doing up until now is to spawn it directly in his hand. So we're just going to change this to web, weapon holster. This this it's the name of the socket we just created. And if we go into here and then play alright, so you can see he has the gun on his back and it it's the way it's supposed to be because this is not in combat mode. So next we will add it into combat mode. We will play the actual equip animation with an anim montage but first we have to tell the anim blueprint um, when to play it. So we open this uh, combat interface that we had created earlier, combat mode interface, and then just add two new functions to it. Equip weapon and unequip weapon. Right? And then you don't forget to compile it and then save it, otherwise it won't be available in the main blueprint. So then you go back here to uh, the My Character Blueprint and in the toggle combat mode, just at the end of it, you can see your disable combat mode. So that would mean you get an instance. If you're disabling combat mode, then you unequip the weapon. And then just connect this there and if you're in the other case you're equipping the weapon and then you just connect this there and while we are here we might as well do one more thing you grab character movement and then set max walk speed copy paste to 300 and 600. Okay, so now this should be 600 and 300. Okay, so um, lines are all messed up, but okay, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, basically, when combat mode goes off, you will tell it to unequip the weapon, and then in normal mode, you have you have a faster uh, walking speed, and if you have the rifle up, you have a slower walking speed. So just compile that, save this, and then we need to create the actual montages for the weapon equipping and unequipping. So we go here. 
um, animation montage. This will be for the Atom Skeleton. And equip button montage. Then we need another one. Okay, so open this and what we want to do is to go here and say equip. Okay, equip rifle standing copy. Let me just grab that and drop it in there. And it will be the default slot. Okay, we can update that later. Okay, now what we want to do is to just pause this and then okay we need to check where his hand is closest to grabbing the weapon okay right he grabs it right here right there so you go down there and you see this is this bar this is the point where he's grabbing the weapon so right click here and add a notify and then you say weapon call it equip weapon Notify and then you click on this and you go here, event, and you change its type to a branching point. Okay, and just save this and close that, and then same thing for the other one. If I unequip, okay, I think it's using the same montage in both cases. Right, so the same animation is being used for unequipping as well, so just type equip and rifle copy and then same thing it was right just kind of uh, drag it around and this is where it grabs the weapon right so right about there and then again add notify or you can just uh, I just let's make a new one. Uh, again, click on it and change it to a branching point. Now, uh, these queued uh, notifies they are asynchronous. Okay, what this means is that it will not necessarily fire on this exact frame. It, um, the engine will get to it whenever it gets to it, but the branching point is an exact exact point so it will fire it at this exact point so the branching points are for when you need a higher level of precision and accuracy they're also more expensive performance wise so that's something to keep in mind okay so we just save this and close that okay now we're back into the anim blueprint and we do right click and add an event Event equip weapon and add another event for unequipped weapon. Okay, these events are coming from the interface. So from the main blueprint, when this fires, you know, when equip weapon fires, you end up here. And we want to play montage. Play montage and then do this. Paste unequip right equip and unequip right and then and then we take care of the notifies so you have an equipped weapon notify from the actual montage and the unequipped weapon notify. We need a reference to the rifle blueprint uh, before we can use these notifies. Uh, so we can grab that from blueprints, my character when we first created and begin play. We could just save it. You know, you can promote to variable. 
and we will call this P the rifle BP. This there, put this there, and put this into the target. Okay, save, compile, and save that. We're back into the Anon blueprint. We can do get the character BP and get the rifle BP. Then we can attach actor to component. I'm just going to copy this name here and then I'm going to paste it into the socket name. Okay, so equipping the weapon will cause that. And then unequipping, we want it to go the other way into the holster. Right? And just to be sure I will copy this and then paste it again here even though it is correct anyway. Okay, so that should work. And then we want it to snap to target and then snap to target. Then you save this and you compile that. Okay, now we need to add the slot to the anemograph so the montage can play go into here and okay this will be the state machines okay just kind of move this out of the way and here we are playing the e offset that we set up in the last video okay so now we want a slot the default slot and Locomotion cache this into the slot and then you save this as a new cache. And you just remove this and Right, so you have your state machine that allows you to move around. And then when you equip the weapon, uh, the montage will overwrite it, and then it gets saved into the cache, and then, then cache will cache is provided to the aim offset if the aim offset is enabled if you're in combat mode, otherwise it goes into uh, into the final animation pose. And even if you are not in combat mode, when you're equipping the rifle, you might still be not in combat mode technically so use the same slot and on this on this end as well uh, this is like a basic anim graph I, it needs like massive improvement but that's for a future tutorial right now this will have to do okay so if we play this okay if you play this you can see the result that you have a character with a weapon on his back he's walking about he's running about he can like, 
jump into stuff. So then you press tab and he reaches back, grabs his weapon, and now he's in combat mode. And you have an aim offset that's working. He can strafe around and he will turn automatically if you go too far to one side. And then you can put the weapon back. And well, that's your basic character. Now, this needs some uh, quite a bit of improvement. For example, if you're equipping the weapon, right, if your montage is playing, then you know this happens, and that can be fixed in a future video. But for now, that's all, and thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.